Hello. Uh, the purpose of this video is to explain how to write a line counting program. A line counting program can be useful for navigation if you have a um, surface that your robot is going to be driving on that has lines and you can go until you count so many lines and then you can stop or um, lift a motorized arm or you know, back up and turn or whatever you want to do. But this is a, um, a good navigation technique. So first I'm going to talk about um, the theory or kind of what's happening here and then we're going to actually look at the code in the NXTG um, application. So Let's pretend that my cursor here is the light sensor um, and we're going to look at what kind of values the light sensor sees as it um, travels across um, this mat that has lines on it. Okay, so right now if you, if you recall, if you have calibrated your light sensor, you're going to get values between 0 and 100. 0 for black lines and values closer to 100, 100 for a white surface. So if you're coming along here your light sensor is going to see like 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, and then when you're about halfway over the black and white, it's going to see something more like a 50. And they're going to start dropping until you're completely over the black and it'll be closer to zero. But maybe, you know, partially, mostly over the black, it'd probably be something like 25. Anyway, zero, 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 and then it's going to start going up again, 25, 50, 75, 100, 100, 100, 100. Um, maybe 80, 50, 25, 0, 0, 0, 50, 75, 100, 100, 100. Okay? It's important to think like that. Uh, like think about what the light sensor will see uh, because then we get to formulate um, our program, or we kind of have to think in detail like that uh, when you're programming. So what we want to do is we want to go until, we want the robot to go until it sees this front edge of the line, and then it also will look for this back edge of the line. Okay. Once we do that, we consider that counting one line. If we want to go into a second line, we would then look for the front edge of this line and then the back edge of it. Okay to know that we have counted two lines. That's the tricky part of line counting is it's not good enough just to find that front edge. You really have to, because that the width of the line could be very thick and your robot won't really understand. You can't just look for seeing dark the first time and seeing dark again because it'll see dark here, here, here. You have to look for seeing light in between it. I hope that's um, <laughs> clear. I hope I said it clearly. So, um, anyway, so what we're going to do, let's just take a look at what that looks like in NXTG. See, so yeah, I've named my program Line Counter, which is a nice descriptive name. It's always good to name your programs something that you can recognize it later. And um, you can see we have some move blocks here, one to turn the motors on and one to turn the motors off. You'll also notice that I have documented, I've written some little notes in here 
and that really helps people to understand what's going on more quickly and even the programmer who might forget later um, that's a good programming practice to document your programs so anyway you have these we're going to turn the motors on over here we turn them off over here with move blocks but we also have a couple of weight blocks inside this loop so let's just talk about what's going on here you remember that program flow we start here and we work our way from left to right this is a starting place and the first block that we come to is a move block and basically see the infinity sign here it looks like a sideways eight that just means turn the motors on with unlimited duration we're not specifying for how long to have the motors on we're going to control the motors with the light sensor or when it turns off is going to be determined more by the light sensor readings than wheel rotations so we turn those on it advances to the next block which is this wait for light sensor block and you can see um, the light sensors attached to port 3 now this is different from a light sensor block which would be here the wait um, block has an orange stripe on it and see how this is orange and it has an hourglass on it which means wait this is really a wait for light sensor block and we're going to be waiting for a condition in fact what's waiting the robot isn't still in waiting this is the program flow it just means the program is not going to advance to the next block until the light sensor sees this condition and the condition is less than 25 that means that it's getting dark okay and so wait for dark that's the front edge of the line once that condition is met it's going to advance to the next block which is a looking for the back edge of the line this condition says wait for the light sensor to see greater than 75 and when that has tr that is completed we've counted one line so we're going to advance the next block which is really this loop block here a loop basically just repeats everything inside it the blocks inside it um, as many times as you specify um, and that's when you use this count control there are other controls here but we're using count we've set our count equal to two so it's going to repeat the blocks in here two times and after it's done it two times the program will continue on to the next block so let's just say the first time this goes through count is equal to one so we come back through we look for the front edge we look for the back edge we check the counter this time it's gone through two times so we advance to the next block which turns off the motors um, if you wanted to make this a line count five lines all you do is change this you can change it to five and basically it'll go around the loop five times and that's counting five lines and then you come out and you stop and you could really put anything here that you want to do once you've gotten to that um, fifth line or second line or whatever so this is a um, line counting program and it is very useful uh, to navigating and especially in uh, competitions like First Lego League. Now, um, before we conclude, I'm just going to show you um, a little video of my robot uh, doing the line counting 
and so you can see a little bit what that looks like. I hope you'll give us a try. It's a lot of fun, and um, all your friends and parents and teachers will be real impressed. So leave some comments on our um, channel. Let us know what you think, and uh, keep stopping back um, often because we'll be adding more tutorial videos for the NXT.